purpose of this video is to take a look at Cisco Flex Flash on the C-Series servers. So we start by going to the SIMC and navigating to the inventory section and we take a look at our storage tab. Here we'll see all the storage controllers including the Flex Flash controller which is integrated onto systems that provide Flex Flash. So we want to go down and take a look at our operational profile. Uh, we'll notice that there's one physical drive, four virtual drives here, and by default all four virtual partitions should be enabled. So then we can take a look at the physical drive info by selecting that tab. And this will tell us the actual slots that are populated on this device. And then we can go over to virtual drive and see the four partitions and that they're all host accessible, meaning they are active. Then there is a battery backup, which means nothing for the Flex Flash controller. Um, so what we want to do now is select our BIOS settings and we want to go into something called Configure Boot Override Priority. This is a one-time boot priority that we can set on the BIOS that allows us to boot into, this, into a partition. So we see that the three partitions are available there, the three bootable partitions. We're going to select SCU here and then we're going to um, reboot the system. So we'll go back to the summary page here and do a power cycle on the server. So now Normally we would have booted into hard drive, but with this boot priority, priority override set, we should boot into the SCU partition. So we'll launch the KVM and watch this thing boot here. I have um, deleted some of this so that we speed this session up. Just want to show there's nothing connected to the virtual media there, so it's booting from the system itself. So still going through the post here. and then we'll start booting into the SCU. So again, I've, sp I've sped a lot of these screens up so we don't have to sit here and watch this thing boot over and over. But once we start booting into the SCU, we will um, come into the utility. Now the thing that's unique about the SCU utility is it is the application that provides us a mechanism for updating and controlling controlling the um, Flex Flash partitions. So while we can activate the partitions in SIMC to actually update the information on the partitions or restore the partitions, that's done through something called the Update Utility and Server Configuration Utility. So on the toolbar you'll see the Update Utility and you'll see that this shows the three system partitions, the Host Upgrade Utility, etc. So we want to update the Host Upgrade Utility here and we're going to choose to go to Cisco.com. So this server is connected to the network, right? It's going to get an, it's got a DHCP address, this meaning the operating system. We could enter a proxy information if we needed to. In this case, I don't. So I'm going to enter my Cisco.com credentials and click configure. And again, it's going to go out and go to Cisco.com and show me all of the actual HUU software that I have available for this model of server. So I'm going to select the 141C just to make a change here and then apply that. So now what Flex, what the CU is going to do is go out to the internet, download the file from Cisco.com and then it's going to write that file to the partition so that it's updated. Now again these screens have been accelerated. I've cut out a lot of the waiting when it's going out and downloading the files and writing to the flash so it's not quite this fast in a production environment. In addition to being able to uh, download from Cisco.com directly, we could also put an ISO for HUU, the drivers, or server configuration utility somewhere on our network so that we don't have to continually go download. If we were doing multiple systems, we, this would be a good way to do this. So here we're going to choose to update the server configuration utility, and we're going to choose from network. So we put in a username and password, and this is the username and password to connect to the SIF share. And then we put in the network location. So this could be any SIF server that's on the network, again, that's accessible to the server itself. Once we put in the share name, we're going to go down and we're going to connect. And it's going to display the different ISOs that are available. So here we see a server configuration utility ISO. We select that. And then we go and it starts the update process. And it's the same thing. It downloads it to the server, writes it to the flash after we apply it. And then we have that SCU loaded onto our system. So while that's updating, we want to look at our final use case, which is what is happens if you have a damaged partition or a blank flex flash. So in order to deal with this, we're going to have to get an SCU that we download, and we're going to mount it via the virtual media. So this is local to your workstation. You pick the SCU, um, add it as a map virtual media here, and then we want to boot the system. So notice here that we look at our configuration. We're going to look at our operational 
uh, profile. I'm going to turn all these off just to show you that we're not actually booting from the hypervisor in this situation. So we're going to boot SCU up. Now, once it boots up, we'll go back into the utility as always, and we'll see that in this case, we don't have anything enumerated. So you've got to have the drives enumerated where I turned them off before. You've got to have them enumerated for the utility to be able to see it. So we're going to go in and re-enumerate the partitions, the drives. In this case, we're not going to do the hypervisor because we're not managing that. We'll just do the three partitions that we care about. And then we'll go back to SCU, uh, restart the utility here. And we'll see that once we've enumerated the drives, SCU has the ability to do this. Notice we did not have to reboot the server. Also note here that each one of these has a VDisk error. This is a blank drive, which may be something we would get if we had a replacement from um, Cisco, for example. So here what we do is we select the drive. It tells us that the partition's valid and asks us if we want to reinitialize the partition. So we do that for each of the partitions. Now that it's reinitialized, we no longer have the error. We can then go in and use the same process we did before to update. So in this case, we'll update from Cisco.com again and uh, the partition we want. So as I mentioned before, um, from spares, if you did have to go to TAC and get a new drive, these things will come blank. So this would be the process for dealing with a blank drive, going in and adding the uh, utilities back into it. So once we apply this, it loads, and we have our new Flex Flash version on our card as before. Thanks for watching.